Hello there, Aries. Welcome. This is your September 2022 You versus Them reading. And uh, whenever you have to come across it. When you're led to see this, you will, it will be the best time for you. It will resonate more. So, let's see. This is your side. This is their side. We're starting with you. And um, what are your thoughts about them? Let's see. The moon. King of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Wow. Ooh, the world. Okay. So you're completing a cycle with the world here. You might be, you know, this ended with this person. You might want to bring it back around now. Maybe you weren't thinking about it before, but now you are. There's a lot of emotions that maybe you hid from this person, or maybe you're thinking they hid their emotions from you. King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, this also could say that you've seen them, or you're thinking that they're very stable, reliable. May they're good with their finances. May they're um, doing quite well financially. And it's like you want to cut something out, or get to the truth or something, cut something else, start something new. Okay, let's see here. Let's clarify. Here. Why do we have the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? Six of swords. Okay, so it looks like your thoughts are maybe going towards this person. Maybe leaving something behind. Are you in a bad connection, a bad relationship now? You might be thinking of moving away from something to go towards them. They might feel more stable, more reliable at this time. This also could be a card of traveling or moving. Um, what about this King of Pentacles? Why is that here? The Five of Swords. I think you had an argument with this person. Something went down that was not too good here. And um, there might have been some lying or some... Um, there's also could have been other people around that caused this conflict started trouble troublemakers yeah maybe starting some gossip untrue gossip but it's like it seems like it caused a lot of conflict between you guys fives are always changes too what about this ace of swords why is the ace of swords here Ooh, the magician you are manifesting something here you are i think you feel very powerful at this time very confident very um in your power doing what you need to do we have the nine of pentacles you might also see this person as very independent. Uh, maybe they like to be on their own, or you see them like they, they don't want to be bothered. But you also have, um, or you could be even seeing them as being um, manifesting their dreams or doing something here. A change, a shift in them, maybe. Uh, for the magician, I get Aries and Aquarius energy. Okay, so now, so it could be you, and it could be them. It could be both of you. Um, but this is your thoughts about them, but I also feel you feel very strong at this time. We have this popped out. They're dealing with a lot, though. I don't know if you're aware of it, but this is how they also feel about you. Their thoughts about you are that you're going through a lot. But I feel they're going through a lot, too. Maybe they, they're sympathizing with you because I'm going what their thoughts are about you. And they see this, or it could be a burden, thinking about you because of the connection. I'm getting pulled in different directions. Some of you, it might be that you're both going through a lot at this time. It's like you're marrying each other with this Ten of Wands. But you're also both very strong and very um, capable of doing things here. Oh, they see you as their soulmate and their happiness, their wish fulfillment. Oh, and someone, <clears throat> does someone have like, um, I get like heart palpitations right now. And it's not me, guys. So just don't, people like to write comments and say, don't go to the doctors. No, I just feel these energies. I, I tap into people's energies. They go away as soon as I finish the reading. So I'm okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, four of cups. <clears throat> okay, someone wants to speak to you. Someone makes makes an offer here. They don't know how to go about do it. My voice is getting really scratchy. That's telling me too. They really want <clears throat> they really want to talk because I have to keep on clearing my throat. So they really need to talk to you. Is what I'm feeling. And these spots. I work with essential oils. I'm always getting <laughs> spots all over the place. <clears throat> okay, they really want to talk. Okay, let's see here. Why is the ten of wands here? we have this memory of the past memories are really heavy, heavily weighing on this person they think about you often they can't get you out of their mind Oof. okay someone from the past this also could be a past life connection you could have been with them one past life many past lives okay what about the two of cups 
the world card. You both want to bring this back around. Yeah, there's something that isn't finished. It's an unfinished sympathy here. It's like the, someone needs to, there's a, there's something that needs to be, um, why didn't tell me conducted? There's something that needs to be, um, brought back in. You need to, you need to have a conversation, definitely. Okay, now, <clears throat> and for those of you that aren't interested in the past, and this is not for you. Um, what about this nine of cups? Ooh, a page of wands. Okay. They're, they're thinking of coming towards you. Um, contacting you somehow. They're a little confused about how to do it, though. They don't know how to approach you. They're afraid you're going to turn them down. Oh, what's showing over here? See, they might come to you slow and steady here. They might take their time. But they want to talk to you like yesterday. <laughs> so th this with this card, it's like they might try to reach out to your friends or someone else. Or they might... um. Yeah, they might either text, email you, give you a phone call, come by your house, send you a letter. Could be anything. Any way that you can communicate, they might try it. Okay, now. Ooh. Okay, this is on your side, what your feelings about them. First, before I can finish shuffling, we have the chariot. That's cancer energy. That's moving here quickly. Just definitely you want to move towards this person. Here you have the six of swords. Now you have the chariot. Okay, let's see what else we get here. Ooh, another moment. <laughs> you definitely want to go towards this person. Whoa, look at this fast energy. Okay, very fast energy. You have two of the faster cards here because you have the chariot and you have the knight of swords. Okay, on the bottom. Ooh, see, love mate, love mates. Soulmate. <laughs> oh my gosh, soulmates. Two of cups. Want to share a cup with this person? Yes. Okay. The Knight of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let's see. The Chariot. Clarify this Chariot, please, for Aries. We have... Ooh, the King of Pentacles. First word that came is prosperity here. Stable, prosperous... Do we have the King of Pentacles up here? Ooh, the King of Pentacles is coming out again. Okay, so you please feel that this person is doing quite well. They're financially stable. Someone that is secure. Maybe you were in connection that the person was not very secure and um, reliable. Now this person feels very reliable to you. What about this Eight of Cups? Oh, the Chariot again. Boy, do you ever want to go towards this person? You have all the movement cards. Wow. Maybe you're actually going to move where they are. If they are at a distance, you might be considering moving. And the Knight of Swords moves really quick. Very com um impulsive sometimes. Ooh, six of Cups, see, you both feel this connection. It's a very deep connection. It's a soulmate connection. You feel it very deeply. A lot of memories. This is a burden. Look at that. Six of Cups, ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, six of Cups. They're together. Wow. And you have the two of Cups. You guys are mirroring each other. No doubt about it. Oh, look what this. Ten of Cups wants to show. On Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> Sorry. Ten of Pentacles, uh, commitment, long term. Want to peek out there. Let's see if it comes up. Okay, now. Okay, we want to know their feelings for you now. Oh, they're stuck. Pisces energy. They're hanging upside down. <laughs> they don't know what to do. Th this person is, um, you know, not rushing anything. Because by doing that, by waiting, they're getting a better perspective. Ooh, but they have this passion for you. Whoa, they have some serious passion for you. Um, the Ace of Wands, they want a new passionate beginning with you. They want to, they're being very patient. You have this card is patient and this card is patient too. Maybe they're waiting for you to do something. Maybe they're giving you time or something because they want this, really. They really want this. They, I think they see you as the Empress. This would be Libra Taurus energy, but they see you as someone that is very creative, great imagination. Um, you're very artistic. And also the Empress is financial abundance. So they see whether this is, um, I feel financial abundance, but it's also could be just abundant in all areas. It's just that you're, I feel like you're capable of doing many things. You're like a jack of all trades. I usually don't get that from that card, but I'm getting told that today in this reading. 
Okay, let's see. Let's clarify the hangman. This person puts you on a pedestal, though. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. They're waiting for the right timing. That's what they're waiting for. The, it's like, I'll know when I know. <laughs> type. They, you guys, they feel like you're destined to be together. Okay, what about this Ace of Wands? Ooh, the lovers. Yeah, there's a, this person is so into you. There's so much passion here. I mean, you look at the, you got the Two of Cups. The World card brings something back around. You have the Six of Cups. You have the Ace of Wands. You have the lovers. And the Nine of Cups. Wow. Okay, what about this? Um, This is Gemini Energy for the Lovers. What about this Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy? Let's see. Woo, the Ten of Cups. See, I said Ten of Cups by mistake before when the Ten of Pentacles showed. But Ten of Cups wanted to come out. Okay, Ten of Wands. Again, this has been a heavy burden. This person being without you has really been very hard on them. They miss you so much. I'm feeling a very sad, sad energy right now bring me really down they really miss you okay let's see let's see Aries okay what action might you take towards them what might be the action that you take towards them let's see king of swords page of pentacles and the fool okay you're wanting a new beginning you are but you are keeping to yourself you're trying to um I don't know if you're trying to find out something, trying to figure something out. The Hermit goes deep within, does a lot of soul searching. That's what it feels like you're doing. Virgo energy. Then we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And the Fool I have is Aries and Aquarius. And this is standing firm, wanting to make an offer here, and wanting a new beginning. So you might start with a small offer or a gift or a, a token of your um, love or your appreciation for this person. Um, yeah, let's clarify. Wanting to talk, though. What about this King of Swords? Why is the King of Swords here? Seven of Cups. Confusion. Not knowing how to do this, how to uh, make this work. Options here. Maybe you're feeling like they have, they have a lot of options. But there's like different ways to go about this, and you're not sure which way to do them. Which is the best way? What about this page of Pentacles? Ooh, are you going to shock them? You might bring them something or say something that's going to shock them. This is um Aries and Scorpio energy. He might be planning to a little shock. <laughs> what about the fool? Two of wands. Okay. Which path to take? Which way to go? Try to make a decision. We do have a King of Cups. You have a lot of love for this person. And you've been hiding your emotions. Oh, what's underneath here? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, maybe if you feel like left out, abandoned by this person, or something here with the Five of Pentacles. Being left out in the cold. Or not being recognized. Let's see. Let's see here. What action might they take towards you? Oh, they want to communicate. Whoa, they got the star for you. Ooh, baby. Okay, this is here we have being left out in the cold again. Being abandoned. You're both feeling that. There's like a a loss of a not no communication, not not being able to start something here for some reason. Okay, so here we have the eight of wands. Back and forth communication. They want things to start moving. You had all that fast moving energy. Now they have it here with this. They see you as their wish, their dream come true. They want a new beginning with you. They want to take the leap of faith. Um, Aquarius energy here, Aries and Aquarius with the fool. Let's um clarify this eight of wands. Why is eight of wands here? Okay, there's they're worried about this conflict. They worry about when you start talking, they might be arguing, fighting, or they'll also worry about competition. What about this star? Woo! How many times does this person get this Ten of Wands? Their feelings for you are so heavy that it's burdening them. It's really weighing very heavy there. They can't handle it much longer, how much they care about you, how much they feel about you, and how, how much you mean to them. Okay, what about the Fool? Wow! The Fool! <laughs> they definitely want a new beginning. Oh! 
They want a commitment here. Ten of Pentacles. They see you as their happiness. The Ten of Pentacles peaked before and it did come up. I knew it was going to come up. Yeah, because it gave us a little peak. <laughs> it's almost like, oh, this is at the bottom deck. So it's almost like they're hiding this, how much they want a commitment with you. This person wants marriage. They don't want to be left out in the cold. They want marriage. They're, that's why they're sort of keeping it to themselves because they fear you're not going to want the same thing. Okay, but this person is very much into you. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. See you as their wish fulfillment here. They're hoping for divine time and things will fall into place. Let's see what the feelings for both of you guys and mutual feelings here. The energies we have. Socialize. Interacting with others brings both balance and happiness. Okay, so you both need to socialize. You need to talk. That means you need to have communication here. <laughs> okay, let's see. And we have happiness, positive energy surrounds you. A favorable outcome is assured. Okay, so it looks like you guys are coming together. The universe is, is going to bring you together. You both want it, so you have to come together. And we have wheel of luck. Oh, my God. All things are aligned in your favor. Luck is on your side. Nice. And then we have ex-partner and unfinished love connection. This situation may involve ex. Absolutely, positively, the ex is returning. Okay, if you guys don't want an ex, then what can I tell you? Because whoever I'm reading for, this reading is definitely for people that want each other. And if you don't want this person, this reading is not for you. Absolutely not. Okay, now. What do they want to tell you? What do they want to say to you? Let's see what we get for this. I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. I also just take what resonates with these sayings because they're not going to be um, resonating with everyone. Just take the ones that feel right. Okay, I don't know how I feel anymore. I can still... St oh, let's start again. I can still feel you. Yes. You're like deep in their brain here because they can't stop thinking about you. Okay, now we have, I miss you regardless of how things seem. They're not talking, but they're missing. Okay, and we have, I'm a better person because of you. I think they, I'm getting someone that keeps on thinking about when they do things, how would Aries feel? How would this, you know, and then they do things that way. I thought a lot about you lately. You're always on their mind. This side, woof, this person's always thinking about you. I'm more affected than you know. Oh, yeah. You don't realize this person is thinking about you 24-7. You're on their mind. And they want this connection bad. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let's clarify. I'm going to clarify. Let's have more messages. Oh, I have been doing a few readings. I'm getting a little punchy. Sorry. <laughs> let's have more messages from this person. We have, would you give me a chance to make things right between us? I don't think I can take your reaction right now. They're afraid that you're going to um, reject them. Okay, here. I was reminded of your scent recently. And I know I made a huge mistake. You are never far from my mind. And I'm afraid to take that next step right now. It seems like it's more or less saying the same thing with these cards. Okay. I see a little part of you and everyone I meet. They compare everyone to you. But no one can compare to you. Even if they see a little part of someone, they just it's almost like wishful thinking. Or it's just anything that they can think of that reminds them of you. Makes them happy for a second. Okay. So now let's see what signs we have. What are the signs here for Aries? What signs do we have? Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Virgo, Leo, and Leo. Okay. So this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Virgo, Leo, Leo. Okay, now for our letters. We can do 11 letters. And this will be for initial first name, last name. Then you get both the first and last name. And someone has a middle name. You know that initial. You get that one all the better. Past, present, future, and also your own initials. We have 
O R R S V O D B M P B Okay, so the letters we have for you today are O R R S V O D B M P B. Now the names. Let's get eleven names or more. Let me try to get down the bottom here. Okay, I'm Nick. Okay, let's see if we have enough here. Okay, we have Liza, L I Z A, Joseph, Charles, Cody, Raul H. Oh, sorry, let me start again. R A H U L, Nidea, N Y D E A. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing them not right, I'm not used to these names. Laura, Christy, Asma, A S M A, and I need one more. All the way down the bottom, we have Zachary. Okay, those are the names. All right, guys, and remember these are general readings, they're not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Part of it might resonate, part of it might. Let's see what the sayings, <clears throat> what the message is there. You know, just take the parts that sound right to you. <clears throat> and someone really wants to talk because my voice is getting really scratchy again. <clears throat> okay, so um, please leave comments. Let, I love to read your comments. I do reply. I love you guys so much, and I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.